Hey y'all, welcome to Louisville. We are going to be here for the next three days. We are going to try the uh, Kentucky Bourbon Trail. Spend most of the uh, time we're here downtown off of Main Street. There's probably a dozen distilleries there. So we're going to go around as many of those as we can and try to have a good time. So I predict things are going to get ugly and stupid and um, hopefully this is going to be a good video. So enjoy everyone. Is this a video? video. Am, am I in, You're in the video. Florida rum explorer You're in video? video? You're in a Florida rum explorer video. <laughs> I've been waiting my whole life for this. Yeah. It's the best. I like it. That's very good. Old Forester 1870. Um, straight from the tap. It's delicious. Enjoy it. I think you'll like it. It's nice and smooth. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of burn in the background. But it's good. I like it. Old Forester 1870. <laughs> You know what? Surprisingly, it's very good. A little peppery actually on the, on the back note there. But um, I think I think you might like it. If you remember, this is Cooper and King. Uh, very good, old fashioned. They were a great <laughs> band, by the way. 10cc. Okay, now some of these look like parts. Sorry, I'm sorry. All right, think I'll take a single. No, no, no. It's not okay. Oh, man. No, it's not. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> About what? B roll. B roll. I'm doing right now. Hey, 
Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brian, and I just want to do a recap from the uh, the Kentucky Bourbon Trail and talk about what we did, where we went, um, and give you my my five points for having a good time, and uh, just give you a general recap. So, like I said, we started off. Um, we didn't really have a plan of where we were going to go. We kind of just stumbled upon different places. Um, if we had to do it again, I would definitely plan ahead. Um, you know, I think it's something you really should do. And that is going to lead me right into my five points. My five points for having a good time at the Kentucky Bourbon Trail. And number one is you can't do it in the weekend. You know, consider planning multiple trips. There is like 38, I might be wrong, uh, distilleries along the trail. And they're not all in the city. They're throughout the state. So there's no way you're going to do it in the weekend. Um, maybe four or five if you're lucky. Um, so make sure you plan it all ahead of time. Um, make sure you break it up over multiple weekends if you can, multiple trips, um, and uh, don't try to do too much in one day. Number two, make sure to book your tours well in advance. We did not do that, and it certainly showed. Uh, we, uh, we went into multiple places, um, and all the tours were booked. We couldn't get into anything, so we ended up just going to the bars if we could um, and having a couple of drinks there, which was fine. But uh, definitely the, the more premium distilleries. If you want to go and get a tour of one of the premium ones, you're going to need to make a tour ahead of time. There's no way you're going to get in without it. And we were there during a the slow, slow time of the year. I can't imagine what it's like over summer. Number three. The small bars offer a great chance to sample unusual flights. Um, that one bar that we went to was called Taste, I believe. Uh, just, uh, just a bar off of, I think it was Main Street, or maybe it was, yeah, I think it was just Main Street. Uh, in, in Louisville, and um, they had, I think their claim to fame, they had 450 different bourbons in stock, uh, so you could pick whatever flight. I mean, it was almost impossible to try to pick a bourbon out of that, so I went with a flight, and I tried some, I tried three different bourbons I never would before. One of them was very good, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, number four, plan which places you want to go to, and how many tours you want to do. Again, planning, make sure you plan everything. Um, otherwise, you're, you're just not going to be able to get to anything uh, really exciting. But uh, you'll still have a good time. You know, you have some drinks. And number five, try drinks that are outside your comfort zone. Um, the Cooper or Copper and King, that distillery. Um, it turned out that was a brandy distillery. I had no idea. Um, and I, I'm not really a brandy drinker. But um, yeah, you know, a, a brandy old-fashioned tasted pretty doggone good. And I really enjoyed it. And I'm going to give you one more. Uh, tip on how to enjoy yourself there. Just have fun. You know, just go there to have a good time and whatever happens, happens. And you'll just have a good time. You'll have, you'll have a lot of fun. So that's it. That's my, uh, my recap on the Kentucky Bourbon Trail. And hopefully uh, next video we do, we're going to get back to doing some classic tiki drinks. Um, I want to try making the Jet Pilot, which is another one of the old classic ones that uh, I think you'll enjoy. So until next time, take care, y'all. Evening. Oops, I bumped the water, I almost spilled it. But this is a bro